He's got a she or a he. Uh, God in general is a they because we've got a trinity, right? Um, plus, he also have in the beginning um, of creation, let us let us create God in our image, right? Is, you know, different than we think of. When I think of Jesus, though, I mean, Jesus was obviously, a, you know, a human man. Uh, and so I can say he when it comes to Jesus. But when I think of God, I don't think of he as like the Michelangelo kind of God uh, touching Adam like that. And you know, that's, we have to have ways to represent, you know, these concepts. I really think of, uh, of, a, of a, a personal, but not, uh, not necessarily gendered God. I saw an ad one time that said, God, the original day, and I was like, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Like, well done, church. <laughs> I, I just want to add that in my language, God, the, the pronoun has no gender. It's just for deity. Only for deity. Yeah. So, nice. so we don't have that problem. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's a that's a wonderful example, right? Yeah. Because uh, the more I've explored other languages and learned from people who've experienced parts of the church and parts of God that I haven't, like I get fascinated and excited by the fact that there are these these little moments in which that expands my sense of of how amazing God is, and that's a that's wonderful.